Hey guys, what's up? This is my first tutorial on this channel, and obviously my first tutorial is going to be on how to do sort of this Dutch house sounding thing. Uh, yeah, ba mainly the what's going to give it that sound is the synth. Okay, that's not the octave I used. And, you know, using the pitch. Uh. So I made this specific sound in a uh, massive. I'll get into, you know, the kick and the other snares and the pitch automation later. I'm just going to show you how I made the sound first. Okay, so... Make sure before you start that all oscillators are on, and the pitch bend is on 12, the down is on 0. I mean, you can really... S s well, actually, there's a reason why it's going to be on 0. Uh, I guess this really isn't a must, but uh, if you want to put it on monophonic, just so one note plays at a time, go right ahead. Anyway... Uh, first oscillator is going to be square saw 1, uh, set it to bend plus, uh, because usually the default for the oscillators is spectrum. Uh, wavetable's about there, I'd say that's like, you know, 1 o'clock on, you know, a standard clock. Intensity all the way up, amp is about there, and, I mean, that's really it for the first, oh, besides, uh, routing it to filter 1, that's it for the first oscillator. And uh, just for future reference, all the oscillators are going to be routed to filter 1. So this is what it should sound like. And if that's not what it sounds like for you, just rewatch what I just did. Make sure you didn't do anything wrong. Anyway, oscillator 2 is going to be up, up an octave. Again, it's also going to be on bend plus, And it's also going to be a square saw 1. All three oscillators are going to be square saw 1. Wavetable, position all the way down, intensity right there, amp all the way up. This is the loudest of the three oscillators. That's what it should sound like. Uh, Rad it to filter one. And third oscillator is going to be up two octaves. So that's going to be 24. Uh, Wavetable all the way down, intensity about there again. It's really the same settings, except it's not as loud. So amp about there. And route to filter one. And that's really it for... All three of the oscillators. That's what the third one should sound like, and all th together they sound like this. Yeah, so exciting. Not really, but, you know, with the side chain, the kick, and, you know, everything else that I made, it, it sounds pretty good. Uh, anyway, for filter one, just, you know, turn this all the way up, this all the way up, this all the way up. Filter two, you're not going to be using. Filter one, set it to a low pass four, cut off all the way up. The middle knob is stupid. He doesn't get anything. And resonance, about there. Uh, for effects, the first effect I used was chorus ensemble, dry wood about there, rate there, offset there, and depth there. Second effect was dimension expander, dry wet there, size there, and these two are not applicable. If I'm going too fast for you, uh, just, you know, pause, you know, the screen, uh, the video to just copy the settings. I'm sorry, because I, I know I'm going really fast, because this is my second attempt of this tutorial, I just want to get through it quickly. Anyway, for EQing, everything's boosted just a tiny bit, just to make it sound better. And that's it for Massive. Uh, now I'll show you the EQ. Uh, this is what it sounds like with without the EQ, and with it more brighter. Uh, what I did, uh, not a lot of EQing right here. Uh, you know, the EQing in Massive kind of did everything already, but just to be on the safe side, you put the, uh, uh, boost the the highs a little bit, uh, about 5.5 uh, decibels. Uh, the lows are boosted a tiny bit, and the mids, you, you can barely see it, but those are just boosted slightly, and turn up the master gain, well, to turn up the master gain to your liking, I guess, and also this gain right here, I put it on plus one. So, that's the whole sound, and, oh yeah, and the compressor's just for sidechain. Uh, I use the Type U electric piano preset for the sidechain, because I can never really get, get it to sound as good as this preset on, on the compressor and logic when I'm just doing it myself. Uh, so yeah, now the piano roll, if we'll just highlight one of these things here. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of automation going on with the pitch. I mean, not a lot. It's really just a matter of, like, 
you know, making it go up an octave and down an octave. And if you if you look closely, I don't think you'll really be able to see the numbers that well, but some of it goes below zero, so you'd be thinking, oh my gosh, the notes aren't going to be exactly on this note. Well, it will, because, if you, like I said before, if you keep this on zero, no matter how much you put it below the zero mark on the pitch, it'll stay on this note, but... But going up, it's going up an octave. So basically, it's really in Dutch in Dutch uh, house. It's really just going up and down octaves. You could do it with your pitch bender, which is a much easier way to do it, uh, which I'll admit I've done a lot. But if you want to make it sound more professional and cleaner, just do it in the hyper editor in Logic. Uh, I mean, if you don't have if you don't have Logic, I'm not so sure what you would do. Uh, I mean, it's got to be similar. Uh, anyway, on the second note, I put it on the, uh, I put it up an octave, so the first note is kind of just like, it doesn't stay on one note, it's kind of like going up, uh, I don't know really how to explain it, you'll just have to listen, uh, right here. So as you can hear, like, it's kind of just going, do it, so that's something to do instead of just keeping it on one note, like when it starts. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm, like, not making sense anymore. I'm just saying, okay, so keep it on this note, it's gonna go, like, duh! Yeah, I will work on these tutorials, this is only my first one. Cut me some slack, bro. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't really, like, I'm not really gonna show you exactly the entire thing I did, because, like, this isn't, that's, this isn't, that's not the only pattern you can do. Like, you can, like, do something like this. You know, you can really make anything you want. It's really just trial and error, like, with where the placements of the pitch bends should be. Like, I think it would, like, take, like, a billion years to go, like, okay, in this particular spot, put this thing here, and then put that there. Yeah. Speaking of which, how long have we been going for? Oh my gosh, we've been going for over seven minutes. Uh, really quickly, I'll just show you the kicks and the snare and everything. So this is the kick, it's from a Vengeance sample pack. You know, uh, you know, put some EQing shit on there, you know. And then there's the snare. That's just from Logic's, uh, analog techno kit, uh, which is the sound, the snare. Uh, I don't know, I thought it fit well with everything else, so, yeah. Everything together would sound like this. So yeah, that's really it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any other requests for tutorials, please, uh, you know, message me about them. Put them in the comment section of this video. Uh, I'll try to get to uploading more of my music because I've I kind of went on a hiatus for a bit. I don't know why, but I just did. So yeah, that's basically it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped you, great. Uh, I guess that's really it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.